In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a screenshot tool for Linux distributions, and the tool is called Shutter. Now, if you're using Ubuntu or any of the Ubuntu derivatives, and you're using version 18.04, you're going to have to install some additional files in order to get the editor to work, and I'll show you how to install those as well. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you may have a hard time following along with me. I will put the instructions on how to install it and, and the additional files below the video. But you can also go to my website and you can copy and paste as well. And I do have some additional information that I probably won't cover on the video. All right, to start with, there's the icon for Shutter. Uh, to install it, you'll need to use your terminal. There's other ways of installing it, but I think this is the easiest way even for beginners because you're just copying and pasting. Now, I have my terminal on my panel because I use it often. Uh, it's, by default, it's not there. So if it's not, you just press Control-Alt-T on your keyboard and it should bring up your terminal. To install Shutter, you're going to update your PPAs first. So we go sudo app get update. Now if you're learning, you've probably also noticed that you can use sudo apt update as well, and it will do the same thing without putting the dash get. I'm just kind of old school, so I'm using the apt get. All right, as it's updating the PPAs, uh, the next thing we'll do is put sudo apt get install shutter and it's finished so I'm going to copy this I'm going to place it into my terminal and I'll press enter and it will it will actually make sure that I want to install it, it it's telling me all the files and dependencies that it needs to install uh, and now you notice it didn't prompt me for yes if you're installing it sometimes it will as you can see in this case it didn't so if it prompts you are you sure you want to install it you can press the Y for yes now I'm finished installing it so I can close my terminal now notice here it says if you're installing shutter on Ubuntu Mate 18.04 or Ubuntu or any of its derivatives you're going to have to install three additional packages before I show you those packages let me show you why you need to install those so let me go to my menus accessories and click on Shutter. Now since it's the first time I've installed Shutter, it will take a little bit of time to load the dependencies to load up. Now once it's loaded, as you can see, I can take a screenshot of a selection of the whole entire desktop, of a certain window that may be open. I can take a, a screenshot of the menus up here, right, which is here's the menus. This is captures only a selection of a window. Uh, and these right here are like little bubbles that pops up. Let's say that I want to take a, a screencast or a screenshot of my entire desktop. Click desktop and there is a screenshot of my entire desktop. As you can see, that's the time and everything. The reason I need to install those three additional files is notice my edit feature. The editor that's part of Shutter, if you're using Ubuntu 18.04 or any of the derivatives, it doesn't install all the files that it needs. Uh, so that's the reason why we have to download and install those files. So I'm going to close this out without saving it. Close Shutter and I'm going to right click Shutter here and quit because I will be installing some additional files within Shutter. Now here are the three files that I'm going to download. For time's sake I've already created a folder in my downloads folder and I call it Shutter Missing Files. Now you can just set right click, create folder, and just name it whatever you want. I called my Shutter Missing Files, and I downloaded my three files that I have here on my website. I've downloaded them to these uh, to this folder. Now install these in that order. So you're going to install the the uh, libgo canvas common and then the Canvas 3 one, and then the Perl one. So let's go and install the first one, which is Common, which is in the center. Double click it. For those of you that are coming from the Windows operating system, it's like double clicking an executable file. It's going to bring up the package installer. Now I do want to install this package. So it says all dependencies are satisfied. This particular file will install some additional uh, dependencies. So I will say it's because I took my thumb drive out earlier. Uh, I'm going to hit install package, put my password, and I hit authenticate. Uh, 
Now it's going through and checking to make sure it has all of the dependencies and it's installed. Now you're not ready to close this box until it shows that it's installed. It'll change from installed package to reinstall package and remove. So we now have this one installed. The next one is this file and we're doing the order that you see here on the website. It's checking. All right, now it says all dependencies are satisfied. Install the package. It will prompt you for the password. And press authenticate. Okay, it's going through and installing this particular package and it doesn't take long but when it says complete it kinda goes through and makes sure that it's actually in there so it takes a little bit of time when it changes to reinstall and remove you can then close the dialog box the last one and if you're installing this for the first time it will tell you that you're missing some dependencies unless you have another program that uses those same dependencies it says all dependencies on mine are satisfied. I already had it on the system earlier. That's why the little error message popped up. I copied these uh, from my thumb drive that I took off another computer and I installed them to make sure it was going to work. And then I uninstalled it and then I re ejected my thumb drive. And apparently I had a file still open and that's why the error message. So if it says it needs some dependencies, when you install it, it will first install the dependencies and then it will install the package. So I'm going to say install package. I put my password and I hit authenticate. It's going to go through and install this and like I said if you're installing it for the first time it will install the missing dependencies it needs for this particular package. Alright, as soon as this changes from install package to reinstall and remove, you're then ready to close the dialog box. Alright, we're not going to close this dialog box and I'll close out this uh, folder and I'm going to minimize my screen. I'm going to go back to applications, accessories, and I'm going to click on shutter. And it shouldn't take uh, a very long time to load. It didn't to load the, the dependencies this time. All right, I'm going to say take a screenshot of my desktop again. Okay, there's my desktop. Now, notice this time, after I installed the missing files, I now have the choice to edit this picture. So if I click my editor, it's going to bring my editor up on my screen so that I can change this picture around. I have a nice little editor built into Shutter. So if I wanted to erase things or add bubbles, pictures, if I can add text, like I can put text here, and it, I think I actually, let me go and undo what I did. I hit it twice. I'm going to put some text here, and I'm going to call this Sunset. I can change the fonts. I can say Bold. I can come to scroll and make it much larger. I can change my fonts. I can make it like bold and italicized and when I hit OK it will apply it to it. If I wanted to say castle or road or label this or I can even if I had this somewhere else let's say I go in my if I wanted to put this somewhere else and put this here I want to draw some errors Let's see, there's your draw arrow, there's your draw straight line. So I want to draw an arrow to the sunset. So you can see with this editor, you have a lot of different editing features. You can cut things out, you can delete things. So I'm not going to go through here and go over all the editing features. You can kind of take some time and play with it to learn all the features that it has. Uh, and it's got some very nice little features like a freehander, a highlighter, uh, you can draw lines, rectangles, ellipses, text. You can even censor out things. Like if you're a teacher and took a picture of your classroom and you have a student in your classroom that their face is not allowed to be placed like on your web page on the internet, then you can uh, filter out their pic. You can censor their picture or their face. Like I'm going to censor the sun. You can kind of block it out. Or you can pixelate it. I'll hit undo. I can go here to pixelate it. So when I highlight this, and that's the kid's face, it's pixelated. That way you can't see the student when you put it on the internet if they did, if the parents do not want their child to be on the internet. So this is a very nice little editor. I'm going to close it out. 
and it's going to ask me do you want to save the changes I don't care about saving these changes and then if you want to save it by default in shutter you can go to your preferences and change the default settings like your default setting if you install it for the first time it will be on a PNG you can change the default to bitmap or JPEGs PNGs are very large files I like to save them as JPEGs the image quality is just as good and it's a much smaller file size by default when you install it for the first time it will say automatically save the file and it will place it in a picture folder you can change that folder if you'd like to create yourself a screenshot folder and then drop down and say well I'm gonna go to another folder here's I have screenshots hit open then that way every time that you save it or if you put on automatically save it will put it in your screenshots folder now I like choosing the folder where I'm saving it at not every time do I want it to be placed in a screenshot folder or picture folder so I'm gonna say do not save the file automatically that way when I go file save as I can put it where I want giving it the name that I want it to some of the advanced features and I'm not gonna go through all of those the one I will show is by the the mouse pointer and I think that's the behavior it says automatically hide the window when taking a screenshot that's this window here you don't want to hit desktop and take a picture of that that will automatically hide that in the background some people instead of having that on their screen can right click and say take a screenshot of their desktop and they minimize that another one is uh, display pop-up notifications uh, to let you know like if it has a countdown if you're doing a, a, the menu it'll show you a little pop-up notification you can start this uh, when you log on but I use the default uh, screenshot saver with Ubuntu Mate because it's very basic so I don't log this one on it's just when I want to use some additional features of this that's when I log it on so this is shutter this is how to get the editing feature within shutter if you're using Ubuntu 18.04 uh, hopefully this helps someone get uh, some experience with understanding what Shutter is and a basic features of how to use it and how to get the editor working in Ubuntu 18.4 or the derivatives of Ubuntu 18.4. Have a great day.